Move. Thank you. That is? We meet again, Eaglebearer. Good, you're back. Now to set our plan in motion. We will set several fires. The smoke will force the Ilotis to flee and draw Amorgus' guards down from the mine. Striking at the heart of the enemy while minimizing the cost of innocent lives. A wise plan. I will see to it that my men light up the rest of the area. What happened? Natakas died protecting Elpidius. Someone from the Order wanted to meet with me. He was there, Tarius. They found Natakas in the shipwreck. He tried to fight them all. This was Natakasus. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, I forgot I even took it. He's gone. He's really gone. And he's never coming back. You're right. He's gone. We have to move on. For Elpidios. We'll have time to grieve when this is over. Right now, we know Elpidios is alive. It's time to get him back. If Amorgus is here, Elpidios must be as well. Once we start, we can't go back. They will come at us with all they've got. It's time to attack. The price may be... everything. I know the price. Time to find the boy. It is. Watch your back! 
Where is Amorgues? The mines! But you'll never get around his defenses! Nothing is impenetrable. We'll find a way in. You're insane! Both of you! You're going to tell Amorgis that the Eagle Bearer, the great disruption of the Greek world, is here, at his door. You tell him I'm coming for him, for Elpidios, and I don't knock! I'll take care of the order guards. I need to get to the mines. I'll take out as many as I can on the way. Let's hope no one notices me here. Here somewhere. You can't hide from me, Amorgis. It's too quiet. <laughs> Stop hiding, Amorgis. Come get what you deserve. We meet again, Eagle Bearer. You know this can't end well, Yeris. Just walk away. It's not that simple. Amorgis has orders and I have duties to fulfill. And I have no intention of walking away, Cassandra. After all I've written about you, learned of your feats, I know I can't defeat you. Yet, I cannot simply stand aside. We both have our reasons. For me, it's Persia. Make it through me, and Amorgis awaits you in the temple. Amorgis is using you! Don't be stupid! We don't have to fight! I do this of my own accord, and for my duty and devotion to Persia. The will of Amorgis has nothing to do with it. 
Your loyalty to your home and commander are admirable, Yeris. But the Order has no place in the Greek world. Everything the Order has done, everything I have done, has been in service of a cause greater than any individual's. So, all the deaths and suffering, that is justified? For the greater good, Cassandra, all things are permitted. You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Morgus, today you bleed. Better stay hidden. Previous, I'm almost there. Oh, my son, water's coming. Calm, aren't they? Moments like these. The moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Cassandra. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Think about where we're going, Amorgis. This path can only end in one place, unless you tell me where to find my son. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I can't do that. I once swore to the people I loved I would crush the Order. Believe me. 
I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> the Order's plan goes well beyond you, Cassandra. What? Ever the hero, thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written by us. We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. How could you think I... I don't want a war. I want my son. You don't want a war? You brought one to my door. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus. I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost, Amorgus. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting her raise him. Where is Elpidios? Tell me! Tell me! I cannot raise the boy. With you, he'll never be safe. He's my son! Remind me, old friend. For all the Order's power, they could not protect you. Not from me. the people we love them all again. That's what I'm doing. Ah! 
Cassandra, we're the waves, we're the ocean, the order is endless. <laughs> Sun rises, but she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors of Morgus. We were champions of Persia, of the people. I still am our Banos. I only wanted to keep our home safe, the world safe. The child of Orgus, please. He's on a small island just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Cassandra. You and your boy will always be hunted. I know. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. Not by blades, but through knowledge through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother, to stop them. Go in peace, old friend. If Amorgus was true to his word, Elpidios will be there.
mother is coming. Probably shouldn't go out that far. Just a moment more, Elpidius. watch over my son every day every night a Morgis made sure of it thank you you know he has a real Spartan appetite <laughs> tell me about it Mother's got so many stories to tell you. <laughs> oh, and you've got some stories for Mother too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes? You know my father? We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. Time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. What will you do? Marcus was right. I am um, fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And... What will you do, Darius? Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy, Cassandra. Be a guardian to Elpidios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his matter, <sighs> what should I tell him? Pedius comes looking for me. It might be the Order who find him. Tell him only that his parents are dead. 
But you are love, Elpidius. You will always be loved. You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down. But you will get up, Elpidius. Because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong. And because we always get up. You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son, and I'll always fight for you. You, and those that will come after. <laughs>